Today it's Dennis and Vets. Monday manufacturing construction on the 12th. We get more retail. Yeah, but still no date for barber shops, gyms, and nail salons, and especially restaurants. At the top of the hour, Lieutenant Governor John Houston will Skype with restaurant owners around the state about what's to come. Brittany Ruby Miller, Chief, uh, Chief of Jeff Ruby Culinary Entertainment joining us right now. Thank you so much, Brittany, for joining us here at NBC4. We appreciate it on a Friday. Let's talk about what is going to happen when you meet with the Lieutenant Governor. Are you coming with ideas or do you guys have to listen to what he has to say? No, I think what's great is that uh, that they are all ears and that they want to collaborate with restaurant operators and owners uh, to seek input before the mandate is put into place. So that's good news for us because rather than unwinding um, a, an order for restaurants, they are relying on very experienced uh, operators who are already held to an incredibly high standard and who have uh, diligently been, been working and researching uh, what's to come. I know my company, uh, we're working on a business plan right now that is probably going to be about 30 pages, and that's everything from operations, PPE, sanitation, uh, you know, the financial side of it, the social distancing, the floor plan. So, so we've taken a proactive approach, even though we really don't have much direction right now. But I do think that they will be all ears, and that's good. They've got a, a tremendous group of advisors from all over the state, uh, and so it's very diverse. And I think that it's uh, it's a good thing. So hopefully that you know a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel for this. Two questions on this: When can you open? When should you open? Oh, I wish I had a crystal ball for that. I, I don't know. I think I'll get some, uh, hopefully get some information on the five o'clock uh, call tonight. And, uh, you know, restaurants should open when each restaurant feels that they are ready to open. They certainly can't force any of us to open. I think we're all eager to get back to business. I think that we all want some sense of normalcy uh, to resume, um, but we have our work cut out for us too. And so that's why we're taking this proactive approach to uh, setting these standards up and getting ready for that. So I think it's coming. Uh, we gotta crawl before we can walk and then run. And so we gotta be ready for the marathon and, and take our time doing it the right way. So we're glad that uh, he's, uh, that the governor's office is, is uh, collaborating with us. You guys are already held at some serious standards by the health department. How do you see, see this normalcy business when you guys do open? Do you see, of course, the social distancing with your tables and that's gonna cut into your bottom line then? Yeah, there's no question. And that's why restaurants are probably going to try to look at what their break even analysis is and see what makes sense. You know, we we started our meal kits uh, in Cincinnati, soon to be Columbus. And uh, and so we're hoping that that generates some revenue here because effectively uh, as of May what 16th, we went to zero revenue. So we're excited about that. We're excited about phase two and phase three and what that looks like. But, um, you know, it's definitely been a challenge, but the restaurant industry, it, we have grit and we're ready for it. And and what I'll also say is our state representatives have been incredible and, and they are fighting for us. So, yeah, we've got this reopen initiative, but we also have a, a real problem with the PPP and the forgiveness and uh, and how how the, the, the federal government is going to give some relief. And that uh, we're still tirelessly working on. We'll check back in. Best of luck. Brittany, thanks so much Thank for you. joining us. Brittany Ruby. Thanks Jeff so much Ruby for having Culinary. me. You betcha.